Hey there. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do this golden black kind of cat smoky eye look for stage. And um, I've already primed my skin. I'm going to do two separate videos. One's going to be on my skin regimen and the other one's going to be on the eyes. So I'm going to do the eyes first. The reason I do the eyes first is that if there's any fallout onto your skin, then you don't mess up the foundation. So I always do the foundation second because you're bound to get some kind of fallout. Okay, so I primed my skin, good primer. Um, I like to use something that's silicone based for stage, so I used Palladio today. Um, I also, on my lids for primer, I used Max Painterly Paint Pot. I like it because it's a little bit of a drier primer and when you're underneath the lights on stage, your makeup can crease because they get a little more oily. So um, I've already done that. And I also filled in my brows a little bit and you can use, um, where is it? You can use a short, stiff brush like this and some kind of matte brown eyeshadow. Um, I like to use something a couple shades darker than my hair. So my hair is pretty dark, so I use black. But if you have blonde hair, you can use like a medium brown. Um, okay, so I'm going in first with, let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, um, I'm going in first with this yellowish gold right here. It's by Urban Decay. It's called El Dorado. And I'm going to use a MAC 239. It's kind of a, a shorter, stiff brush. I'm going to kind of pack the color right on the center of the lid. Hope you can see that there. Okay. Um, right on the center of the lid. And we're going to kind of layer the colors here. So um, I'm going to try to use some inexpensive ones so you can, um, you know, you won't break the bank by by trying to uh, get this look. And you don't have to use these exact products. You can use something that's that's close to it. So like for this one, you can just use some kind of yellowy, um, sparkly, goldy kind of color. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with, and I, gosh, I forget the name of this. I think it's called Old. Oh. Olive Groove. This may be limited edition. Um, it's this one right here. It's kind of a goldy, I don't know, I guess olive. Yeah, it's called Olive Groove. So it's kind of a goldy olive. And um, I'm going to kind of layer this on, on that yellow. And then I'm going to come in um, later on and put a little more of that yellow on there just to kind of give it a little pop. And you can play with these. We just want that yellow to kind of speak out and when you have tanner on you it will it'll be much more bold than it is um here on me with my pale no tanned skin okay um the next thing this is my absolute favorite palette um i hope you can see that um it's called smoky eyes by nyx and you can get this at ulta it's actually on the drugstore side so anyway um wipe the brush off really good and then go in with that same MAC 239 brush and this is kind of the key to the technique. I'm going to go in with, and really any kind of um, matte black will work, I'm going in with this one right here, um, any matte black will work, but I just kind of put it on the tip there and then I'm going to mainly use the tip and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to create like a little V and um, so what's going to happen, sorry my coffee pot's going off. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's beeping. Okay, um, I'm gonna create a little V, and so I'm gonna kinda like make a stripe here. Um, and then the same thing on this side, and it always looks funky until you blend it out. Blending is really the key, and having good brushes is really important too. Okay, so that looks really funny, doesn't it? Good. <laughs> and, um, you know, for stage, we want bold, so. Now I'm just drawing on the other side of the V and I'm a little bit above the crease if you can see there, just a little bit above. And um, these are, this is a great palette. I use this every day and also on clients. It's just, I don't know, it's just to me the best, sorry, it's the best smoky look. Um, and I just think it's so pretty. So here we go, we're just kind of rocking that color right above the crease, and this is called a cut crease, and I just kind of, I'm kind of creating a, a new crease, and um, it's really pretty on stage, sorry I keep going down, I've got a mirror below me because the camera's backwards, so it's really hard to, to give you the right look when the camera's backwards. So. I've turned the brush now and instead of being, um, instead of using the pointed edge, I'm kind of using the, 
the wider side and just kind of brushing it this way right above the crease and really you want to keep the outer V look because that's what gives that cat eye look and um, things look a little bit different when you have the tanner on you so you just bear that in mind okay so now I'm gonna take um, more of a, a stiff kind of kind of fluffier brush to blend that out even more and this is actually I got this brush um, from makeupgeek.com and I it's a C433 Pro Blending Brush, um, and this is what it looks like. She calls it like a, a stiff dome or something, but it's I think it's made by Crown. And if you want that website, I can get that that website to you. Um, but again, it's the C433 Pro Blending Brush. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, this is a really dark, sparkly, it's called Black Tide by MAC and I depot all of my shadows so that's why they look like this and they're not in like a little pop. I'm going to use this black one right here and I'm going to take a little of that on that blending brush and it's going to kind of again go over that V and this has a little bit of sparkle to it so it's really pretty it catches the light nicely but it's not it's not too sparkly that you know it looks like I don't know drag queen or something Okay, but you see how now it's kind of getting a little thick up near the top? We're going to fix that, so don't worry. Um, it's all about blending and kind of getting the right, the right combination of colors. Okay, so now I'm going to take... I'm so bad at remembering the colors. Isn't that awful? Um, this is called Embark by MAC, and it's um, this kind of reddish brown right here. I don't know if you can see that really well. Um, and... This is a great, this is probably my favorite color to kind of blend things out in the crease. So all I'm doing with that is I'm kind of blending out that black. So when I put your, um, the highlighter shade right underneath the brow bone, when I put that on there, it kind of blends in better. I don't know, it softens it and um, just gives a really pretty, more natural look. Because if I remember correctly, you wanted more of like a kind of understated um, look. So that's what we're going to make. Okay. So I've kind of got that blended now. Let's see, just a little more blending on this side. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to go in with, and you kind of have a choice here. I like to use more of a matte color underneath my brow because I just think it's more flattering. Um, I, you know, too much, too much sparkle on the eye, just, I don't know, with the lights and everything, it just, to me, is not flattering. It takes away from what really you should be presenting on stage. So, um, I'm going to take this, it's like a matte flesh, I, it'll be lighter than your flesh on stage, but, um, since you're going to be so tan, but, um, I can't really see the color. Oh, Brulee. Brulee by MAC. Um get this so you can see it it's this color right here and it's a really pretty like kind of a vanilla color but anything um, matte matte and kind of like that you know vanilla cream color will be really pretty and you may need to um, pump up the outer corner a little bit on stage because uh, you know obviously I'm not tan and when you have tanner on um, you might need a little more of that outer V black color that we had going on in there. Um, so just bear that in mind. And actually, I think I'm going to split this and do three separate videos. I'm going to give you my eyelash technique, which is uh, really cool. Hopefully you love it. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with some more of that, um, that Urban Decay. It's called um, El Dorado. Some more of that like yellowy color. And I'm just going to kind of pat that on, just give more pop of that yellow, yellowy gold. It's so pretty, isn't it? I love this color. And I'm not sure, um, I, I didn't see it the last time I was at Ulta looking for makeup, so I'm not sure if it's still around or, um, or what the deal is. So hopefully you can find it. All right, now I'm going to go in with a, um, and this is one thing that I 
feel is really, really important on stage to take a lighter color, and in this case, um, this is limited edition, so sorry about that, but go in with like a, a shiny, lighter gold. I'm using this top one here. And what I like to do is just give a little pop of color right in the tear duct. And what that does is make, make your eyes really bright and seem really alive on stage. Um, it's kind of a little trick that I do and I'm not saying other makeup artists don't do this, they do, but um, I do it on every client. So anyway, that's kind of generally the look, um, and it's pretty understated, but you can really pop it out more with some more black in the outer corner if you want. Okay, here's a couple more tricks for you. I love um, this Avon, I know it's, it's Avon, which floored me because um, usually I use Mac or Urban Decay or something, but anyway, I saw um, online a, a review by a really good makeup artist that I love, and it's called Mega Impact, Mega Impact um, Eyeliner, and it's uh, really dark black and it's gel based, so it stays on your waterline. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of lift my lids a little bit. This is called tight lining, and I'm just going to take that pencil and kind of rock the color right on right on my waterline, but on the upper waterline. I'm gonna do the lower too, but I'm gonna do the upper first. This really makes your eyes stand out, and it's difficult for some people to do, especially if you have contacts. So anyway, isn't that pretty, how that just kind of makes your eyes stand out? Okay, now the lower. I hope you can see this. I just giving a little tug just to kind of like, not even really a tug, I'm just kind of pressing right there on my lower lashes and that just makes the waterline pop out. And same thing on this side. And if you make a mistake, it comes off pretty easily. But once it's on there, it's on. Once it sets, if that makes sense. Okay, now to smoke out the bottom, all you're going to do, and smoky eye is actually pretty easy. I'm gonna go right back to that NYX smoky eye palette, and um, you can use any kind of flat. I really like, sorry, I keep going away from the camera. <laughs> um, I really like this chisel brush, it's called a um, C408 chisel shader brush and I got this on Makeup Geek also um, looks like this this is great for underneath the lower lash line to kind of smoke it out so I'm just taking a matte black and typically what I do is I just kind of pat it on there and drag it around and when you have your water line um, lined it really brings out that that pretty smoky look. And then also while I'm here, I'm just gonna give a little more to this outer V, and I'm just gonna kind of, if you measure between your nose and your brow like that, that's kind of the line you wanna make. So I'm just gonna make a line there, and I'm gonna kind of flick it. I'm just gonna flick it out. And that creates that really, that cat eye look. If any of this doesn't make sense, just, um, you know, feel free to email me and, and I'll be happy to clarify anything for you. I hope it I hope it makes sense though. Okay, so again on this side just create the straight line and then just kind of flick it. And you can always do more or less, just kind of based on the intensity that you feel comfortable with. Okay, so that's basically the look. I'm just gonna give one little quick blend whoops. One little quick blend. Just because it's all about blending. You don't want the colors to have any like definite start and stop. You want it just to all kind of run together. And um... anyway, that's that. Let me zoom out so you can see a little bit. Whoops, that's the wrong way. So that's kind of the look. And um, I'm going to come back in just a few seconds and go ahead and show you my lash technique.